Let's just take a ride along the bay We don't need to work, we can sit around and play I've been waiting for so long to get away Recently I've been testing out my Nikon 105 macro lens to see how well it performed. I had the opportunity to take some macro videos and some macro shots with the camera and it performed pretty well. While playing around with it, I thought about, hmm, what if I could use a DX crop mode and extend it a little bit more? So I did that. It actually gave us a little bit extra reach on it, but the one thing that I did find out is that it's not a fast lens. And when I say fast, I mean focus it, not the amount of light it lets in. So it is a 2.8 lens, so it's a fast lens. But as far as when it comes to tracking objects, if they you know, are flying by, it doesn't really track as fast. Yes, I know it is not designed for that, it's designed for macro work. Of course, when you want to get close on something for macro work, you're not thinking about moving fast. But I kind of convinced myself that, you know, this could probably work as my telephoto lens. And I actually had ordered the 24 to 120 for that purpose. However, that's been on back order for some time. So I canceled the order. Since this was available, I ordered this one. From the videos I've shot with it, you can see that the quality of it is really, really good. It's sharp. There is no doubt about it. I shot some pictures of ducks in the park and I actually caught a hummingbird at one point and snapped a photo of it. I wish I could do a video, but you know those things don't stand around for anyone to get close to them and you know take any shots. So having it in DX mode actually did help a bit. The one thing that I do like about the lens is that it's actually not heavy. In saying that, none of my Z lens are actually that heavy. The heaviest one that I have right now is the 24-70, which is actually recorded in this video. The 2.8 version. I did sell off the F4 version, but what I've been finding as I've been taking video is that there seems to be a bit of focus breathing with this 24-70. I don't recall having that with the F4 version, and I have to go do some research about that. Maybe it's something I'm not doing correctly with the setting, but even like standing here, I shot something a couple days ago and when I played it back, I noticed that the camera was refocusing constantly and I could see, you know, it, the background moving a bit. I don't recall it happening with the Z6 and the 24-7 F4. Could be me, maybe I don't have the camera set up correctly, I'm not sure, but as I use it more, I'll figure it out and decide what I need to do. My earlier videos, I've been utilizing the Panasonic HGX1. I'm about to sell that camera and decide whether or not I should go with uh, another body from Nikon or maybe I should go for that Sony a7 IV. I still haven't decided what I wanted to do for a second body just yet, but I wanted to give this Nikon Z6 to a chance because some hand-holding videos I've taken have actually come out pretty good with a combination of the 24-70 f2.8 and the Z6 II. So it's kind of concerning that it's on a tripod. It is set for auto focus full time in people mode. So I'm not sure why it, it's hunting sometime. And of course, you don't figure that out until you start to watch things back. I'm a one man shop. I can be watching the monitor as I'm talking to you. So you find those things out a little bit later on. I plan on doing another video with the 24 to 70 but I wanted to share some of the videos that I've shot with this lens so you guys can see what I've been up to the last few days while trying to figure things out with this new camera and these lenses that I've bought. So here are some of the videos I've shot.
You may notice that in some of the videos, it actually lost tracking of the ducks a couple times. And I don't understand what happened there. The camera was in auto mode, and I actually switched it to program mode just to see what it would do. Some of it was on a tripod, so there shouldn't be a reason for it to lose track, but I'm not sure. I set it to animal mode with the autofocus full-time tracking, but I'm not sure why it kept going in and out of focus. I wasn't touching the shutter or doing anything. I just kind of turned it on, begin recording, and move it around to keep track with the bird. So if any of you out there have this lens and see that happening, let me know. Also, if you want to share some information about that 24 to 70, of course, I don't have it to show you right now because it's on the camera. Please let me know if there's something that you discover with that lens that's different from the F4 version. Sometimes I wonder if I should kept the F4 lens because it worked very well from the day I got it. And like I said, the video quality from day one has been great. It's been excellent. I don't do a lot of low light shooting, but I've tested a few times and the video actually came out quite well. So I wanted extra light with a 2.8 lens and I wanted to do for like portrait work, indoor work and so on. So I may not sell it. I may just keep it for that kind of stuff. I've been thinking about doing the autofocus fine tuning, but I'm not sure if that will help. I have to research that some more and see if that's going to make a difference with this lens. So anything you have, let me know. All right, I wanted to make this a quick one, so I'm going to wrap it up for now. If you have any comments you can share about the lenses, put them down below. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.